When it comes to putting steel together for Toyota mods, one name that ring bells is C4 Fabrication. They're located in South Dakota Sturges. They're a locally owned business with everything being 100% American made. When I was looking for front bumpers, I wanted something that looked aggressive in your face, yet stealth. I immediately gravitated to the hybrid bumper with full height bull bar and tube gussets. This is for the third gen 2016 plus Tacomas. I also bought the frame support brackets for added strength. This bumper has a design that brings together appeal, steez, and function. For that person who is a weekend warrior or an all-out off-roader. Let's get to the tools needed to get this job done. Now you have two of these clips on both sides and you take them out with a screwdriver and then you have these two 10 millimeter bolts. Don't forget to remove your TSS sensor like I did, but when you unbolt these, this should come right off easy. So here you're going to make a line right at the bottom of this edge, just straight across. Make sure this is aligned straight across here. So we're going to come here to the top of this groove, come down six inches, make your mark, go to this side of this groove down three and an eighth, make your mark, and basically you're going to make a line across here with tape to make your cut. So again, we're going to measure from this body groove meets the crease down six inches, make your mark, then come down to the groove here, measure three and an eighth of an inch, then make your mark. Now you're ready to run your masking tape straight across those lines, making sure it's even. And once you lay that on there, this is where you're going to make your cut right here on this fender flare. And then eventually you're going to pop that off so that you can do some cutting. Now in order for you to take down this bumper, you're going to need to detach this clip. It is your fog light harness. And here you're going to have a total of six of these clips that you're going to pull up with your screwdriver in order for you to detach this bumper. Attach this harness from the bracket as it goes down with the bumper. Now here you're going to use your 10 millimeter socket to remove all these bolts running from your fender liner all the way down under your bumper. So here you're going to want to pull this fender liner back temporarily. Eventually you're going to have to cut it, but it's a struggle. So put some elbow grease on. So for this fender flare, they got two tabs holding it together. Just press on them and it'll pop right out. But you have this fender flare popped off a little bit here. The cover itself wraps around this bracket and hooks onto the plastic around it you're going to want to get up in there and peel the plastic bumper over the spacer and just then you're going to push on the cover back so it pops off the clips here there's a couple clips on both ends and they're going to pop right off once you push that bumper off all right we made it to the fun part this is where we start chopping away at things uh, now we're going to add some more tape. Remember the fender flare was in the way, but now you just want to line up some masking tape 
and bring it all the way to the end. You're gonna cut all this. And we wanna disconnect the fog lights. These are all coming out. All the clips that attach this to the bumper, you wanna just remove, cause we're gonna do some cutting. I apologize for the video. But these clips come out. This is that black portion on the front side that's gonna all come out. I'll show you right now. All that is gonna come out. The fog lights, that black. All you're gonna keep is this top portion. Everything else goes. Just the top portion we're gonna keep. So make sure you cut this right. You take your time because you're gonna go straight across from one end follow that masking tape all the way to where the fog light used to be you're going to do the same to this end here follow that masking tape all the way to that fog light that's all going to come out Now you're ready to cut your fender flare. Be careful not to cut the plastic spacer piece that's behind it. You're gonna cut some of it off, not all, but you wanna put masking tape on there. So just be very gentle here. Take your time, you're almost there. To match this, you want to make sure this plastic piece gets masking tape, even it with your fender flare. As you got the masking tape on, be careful not to cut this metal piece that's going to hold that spacer that will hold your fender flare together. So please be gentle. But you got that done. Here's your fender liner. You're going to want to cut with a utility knife. Just follow the line of the frame. Do the same on the other side following that line. You don't have to be perfect. You just want to have enough plastic to bolt on to this piece here. You want to bolt them on. I used self-tapping screws with some small washers. Now here is how it looks. This is uh, what I did, I put the self-tapping screws, taking your time, being gentle. This is on the passenger side. There's not too much cable running through here like there is on this side here, on the driver's side. I end up putting two in there and I got really close to some cable as you can see here. This, you want to make sure it's up out of the way. You do not want to pierce any of this. You run into a lot of issues. Here's how close I got. So here I'm gonna cut this piece of bracket right here to fit my winch when I install the bumper and then I'm gonna bend that bracket just a bit to fit it in there. So here we get to the shock absorbers. We're gonna remove this piece by using 14 millimeter socket, three bolts on each end and this shock absorber should come right off. So here, you're gonna to start to struggle. Just grab a screwdriver or a pry bar and start to pry this out. Eventually, it will come off. Take your time. Don't break any bolts. Now I am cutting the bracket so that I can fit my winch here without using an offset bracket. So now that you cut off this bracket piece here, make sure you sand it and at least spray paint it so it doesn't rust. Let's move on to your tow hook. You got two bolts, 17 millimeter, holding that together. You're gonna remove that completely and then there's another 17 millimeter bolt holding this bracket piece together and another one on the other side. Make sure you remove both of these. And 
now we get to your power steering coolant. You got two 12 millimeter bolts holding these together on both ends. And another one you're gonna remove is the one hidden here in the back on your frame. This coolant's gonna go back offset with these nice brackets they provide you with one driver and then you have a passenger. Make sure you get these powder coated when you powder coat your bumper. If not, they're gonna rust on you. Here you will need your 12 millimeter and your 13 millimeter open end wrench. Installing these brackets with the bolts provided and the existing bolts, making sure that the power steering cooler does not touch your radiator when you align these and tying this to your frame. So finally I'm ready to install my bumper. I'm gonna lift this with an electric hoist and a remote control. As you can see, my winch is on there with the control box on top. It's not gonna clear the bracket that I grinded. Um, they do sell an offset bracket for that control box, but this did not hurt any function of my rig and it's more aesthetics. Once you install the grill, you will not see it, but you do have that option. Now you're ready to tie down the three nuts on both ends to complete your install for your bumper. But if you're using reinforcement brackets, do not tighten these down all the way. They will come off the two on both ends on the outside. The bolt that is supplied to you by C4, which is this one here, this, you need to invert this. I did this wrong. That, once you tighten that down, that's gonna hold your bumper tight together so you can remove these two nuts so that you can go ahead and install your reinforcement brackets. The reinforcement bracket should be powder coated with your bumper. If not, they will rust and it's gonna go like this. This is how it's gonna be installed. That plastic on your frame comes off because you will be installing a bolt through there to hold your bracket together to your bumper. So this is what I've been using to load and unload heavy things like my CVT tent and this bumper. Man, this is off the hook. This is the Pittsburgh Automotive 440 pound electric hoist with remote control. I bought this in Harbor Freight. I'll leave a link below. Man, you don't need to call anyone to help you load heavy things anymore. This is a game changer. So let's go ahead and remove these 14 millimeter nuts on both ends. Remember it's being held by that big bolt at the bottom. This ain't going anywhere. So let's move this plastic piece. This is where that long bolt's gonna go through. And on the other side, you got another plastic. Just stick your screwdriver in there and give it a nice bump. It should come right out. Now let's go ahead and remove this sway bar using your 14 millimeter socket. You're gonna do this to both ends and please don't do what I did. Go ahead and just remove that skid plate. Just wanna make sure that you tie off that sway bar. I use some tie wraps, let it come down. Go ahead and stick your bracket in there, stick your bolt from the inside. So once you get your brackets installed, go ahead and start lining up your sway bar brackets on both ends. Don't tighten the nuts too much cause you will have to tie in all the other nuts that tie your bumper together to your reinforcement bracket. That bolt right here that goes through your frame do not tie in that too much. You will bend your frame. Go ahead and do your other side as well. And this job is pretty much a wrap. So I'm really impressed with the look of my Tacoma. This bumper is a game changer for looks and functionality. I get so many compliments every time I'm riding. A couple of tips though I have is you wanna make sure that you upgrade your springs to either medium or heavy duty because you will not only sag but you'll be wearing out all your shocks and possibly other suspension components. I will leave a link below to all my suspension upgrades. And I will also have other videos to show you how I connected my light bar, my fog lights, and my winch. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.